Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing a little bit of a tutorial for how to link nether portals. Um, had a few people ask me about this on my server so I thought I would go ahead and just make a video about it. Um, so today we're going to be linking our spawn portal for our server here and we're going to be putting it up on the nether roof. So uh, first what you're going to want to do, oh not that one, <laughs> uh, you're going to want to go ahead and write down your nether portal coordinates. So this is going to be negative uh, 97, negative 313. So we're going to do negative 97, negative 313. We'll just type that in, in chat here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and copy it as well. And then uh, we got Goebbels here. He's... Uh, wanting attention. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take our coordinates here. So we got negative 97 and negative 313, and we're going to divide them both by eight. So we're gonna just take those two, let's do 97 first. Okay, and we're gonna divide those by eight, because if you don't know, uh, eight blocks in the overworld is equal to one block in the nether. So, which is why a lot of people will create nether hubs to actually get to places in the world because it's a shorter distance than it would be if you were to just travel there in the overworld. So by dividing that by 8 we get um, minus 12 and you'll get this minus 12.125. Um, so that's what we'll get, but we're not going to care about what the point is. We just care about the whole number here. Okay, and then we're going to take uh, negative three one three and then we're going to divide that by eight and we're going to get minus uh 39 point one two five but again we're not worrying about the decimal points so we're, that's going to be the coordinates where we have to build our another portal so let's go here and the y value does matter but um so we're going it only depends on the height of the portal hold on let's, let's make sure so we got our portal here that's going to be in that same rough position where that one is in the over where we just decided but we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the nether roof and we're going to put a new portal up there that will link to the spawn portal okay so here we are at negative 12 negative 39 so right here is where we want to build our portal uh, and so we'll just go ahead I don't have a flint steel I need to go grab one but we'll build our portal here and we don't have any extra blocks uh, hold on give me a minute <laughs> Okay, and we're back. Uh, so I do have the another portal uh, made here, and I even spawn proofed it so nothing spawns on top. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and light this, and if we have done this correctly, we should end up in the portal where we started. So yeah, now this will, okay, now that we have this and we go back through, we will always end up on the nether roof there. Uh, the other one down there will still link to the portal, but this one will be the default for the uh, output one. The, these are a little bit finicky, and I do recommend installing Nether Portal Fix uh, for any bugs that you may encounter, because it doesn't always work correctly. Uh, on the server here, we do have that installed, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, but yes, do make sure you have that installed if you are having issues so that way you can properly link them it's it, it usually only happens when you have portals that are pretty close together within like eight blocks or so so it's it's a little finicky there but uh yeah i hope this uh, tutorial really helped you guys uh leave a like if it did and subscribe for more uh tutorials like this uh i have recently hit 500 subscribers and I really, really appreciate it. Um, I do plan on making a special. I'm still kind of deciding what I want to do for that, but uh, it'll 
it'll be here soon. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, like and subscribe for more, and we'll see you in the next one.